and welcome back to our channel. Um, so I hope you're all well guys, hope you had an amazing weekend. Um, so today I'm doing a haul at Aldi Hall. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with Aldi. Nothing better, nowhere better than Aldi. <laughs> Seriously, I love Aldi. I can always seem to get so much within my budget. Um, like if I go to like Sainsbury's or somewhere, um, I end up going over and not getting as much as I do in Aldi, so that's how I love Aldi. Same with like um, Asda and thing, I always go over budget in Asda and don't get as much as I would get in Aldi. Um, that's for me anyway, that's me, that's me, I don't know about any of you guys, but I seem to get a lot more for my money in Aldi and it always comes under budget. Like if I go for like other supermarkets, um, like as as it can be bad but can still be just a little bit over budget sainsbury's can be well over budget for me um iceland for frozen food that's him within my budget um i love going as like i said i only go to iceland um every couple of weeks for iceland like aldi my aldi shop for like fridge and um, fresh food is like once a week and sometimes i can like drag it um to a week and a half um something like that but this should last me for the rest till the end of the week to be honest um but usually it usually lasts longer depends how hungry these children are of ours um but anyway before i get into this haul um so yeah i did film my freezer up last week in iceland iceland warehouse um i was meant to do a haul on that but i was just so tired guys Seriously, I'm very, very tired because this little, little babby in here, <laughs> I'm so drained all the time. But anyway, before I went into, no, I got these last week before I went into, um, where was it? I went to Home Bargains last week um, and they have like, um, like a, the works, like where you, yes, yeah, let me just make sure, yeah, the works. Um, where they sell all different books and things like that um, and I thought right I'm gonna have a look at some cooking books and um, they, they've got a sale on the kids have had them guys the kids have been looking at puddings for telling dad dad I want this pudding mum I want this pudding I want to get this pudding um, so I did get this one this one don't mind little chocolatey fingers on it guys because that's having children for you <laughs> Let's have it, children. Um, this one, 10 minute desserts. So, ready to eat in 10 minutes. So this should have been 20 pound. I got it for four pound last week. Um, if you can just see there, why my nails guys have been digging in the garden. Well, not digging. Um, getting ready for some flowers I need to pick up at the end of the week. But yeah, my nails are a bit muddy. My hands are a little bit muddy, but hey. That's mum's life. Can't wait to get some plants. I'm not getting them yet. I'm going to get them at the end of the week. But yeah, anyway, £4 should have been 19 And guys, it's got some mint puddings in here as well. My favourite at the minute. It's just got loads and loads of puddings. But my favourite one of what I do, it's just simple and easy. And obviously the kids love fruit anyway. So I've always got fruit and I've just got a load anyway. I'm going to do this one for the kids. And I'm going to have that one myself, actually. So, you get all the chocolate, things like that. And I'm going to use sprinkles. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get some chocolate. Well, I've got some chocolate in anyway. I've got cooking chocolate. Some chocolate and sprinkles. Um, and, yeah, they just look delish. So, they're going to be like exactly the same as this, but with sprinkles on. Um, so chocolate bananas with a load of sprinkles sounds amazing. I show you how you make your own lollies as well. This is made. It's just really good. It's really good, especially because summer's coming on as well. Um, summer's coming along. Just quick and easy. There's another one in here. I'll show you guys that the kids want me to do. That's just fine though. It does look yummy. It does look yummy. If I say so myself, seriously, it really does. Um, if I can remember where it is. Shannon wants to do this one. Chocolate brownies. Um, she really, she really wants to do that one. Where's that other one? The one that looked delish. 
it look fantastical. Our hubs wants to make them um, coconut balls. He wants to make them from scratch. And where are the other ones? I can't find them now, guys. But you know what? They'll come up in a bit when I don't need them. Um, always does when I when I don't need to show show you guys. I'll so we'll find end up finding them. Oh, oh, oh! These. They're on the back. <laughs> At least they're in there somewhere, but I'll just show you on the back. So, what is that? Oreo biscuits um, with caramel and like flake bites on top, like little flakes on top, but like sprinkled with like um, cream. Oh, no, it's not cream. Um, I forgot what that is. But anyway, it looks delish. It really looks delish. So, do you want me to do that one as well? So yeah, four pound guys, get yourself to the um, works, get yourself some easy to do puddings in 10 minutes. Bargain, bargain. And then I've got this one. Um, so it's a Slimming World one. It, it was very cheap, this is why I picked it up, but healthy meals um, and things like that. Um, so I got this, this was down, should have been, £19 again, guys, £19, down to 2 50 you can see that there, 2 50 and it's got all healthy meals in it, like, I'll be loving this, for my pregnancy, and definitely, when, um, when my pregnancy is over, like, when I've had baby, because I just want to get back to my normal weight now, I want to get back to my size 10. Um, so this book will really help me in eating healthy as well. It's got loads. It's got fish, fish green masala. Never had that before of you guys. Comment down below if you have. I've never had it myself. Um, spicy beef vegetable stew. Mm, bit of spice to a stew. Um, crushed fillet steak with roast vegetables and salsa. Oh, that sounds great for me. Look at that bad boy. Mmm, looks delicious. But anyway, you get the drift, drift guys. Um, there's loads. Turkey pesto roast. Chicken mas tikka masala. Mediterranean chicken hot pot. Mmm. Mediterranean chicken hot pot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who do you think I am? But anyway, there's just loads, especially for healthy eating and especially like for the summer for barbecues. Look at that bad boy. Nice, nice. But yeah, they're my bargains, them two books. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get into this haul now and show you guys what I've got. So, let's show you Aldi haul. <laughs> this is everything I got from Aldi. Um, so yeah, if you can just hear the teller in the background, the kids are watching Kid Danger, so just keeping them entertained <laughs> while mommy does this quick haul. Um, so anyway, we will start with actually fruit and um, yeah, fruit and veg we'll start with first. So I've got some pears, bananas, apples. More bananas. So the bananas were down to like 49p today in Alda. So I got three packs of bananas. Um and the um the, can't get my words out, can't even speak today. Tangerines were the same, but I only got one pack of those because kids are not really over keen on those. It's more strawberries, grapes, apples, and bananas. That's their favourite. That's their favourite. Um I got some strawberries. I got a family size pack of peppers, spring onions, because at the minute, guys, seriously, I am craving these in mashed potatoes. I really, really am. And my mum used to do that as a summer meal for us with like uh, mashed potatoes, um, spring onions in. Comment down below, guys, if you ever had it. And I'm craving it. I've been doing it like twice a week. I've done it twice a week last week. Um, and you have it with ham and mayonnaise all over the mash, guys. Seriously, if you've not tried it, you need to try it because it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous and I'm craving them at the minute. Um, I've got some lettuce, strawberries, 
um, Papa Doms because we're having curry tonight. Um, Paspati rice, and then I've got savoury rice. So I'll have that one day this week with some chips, and I don't know what else. We might have a steak. Um, I got some steak clip burgers from Iceland the other day, so I might use them up with this and rice and like um, a nice sauce. Um, have you come to join me? Yeah, are you helping me do this haul? <laughs> you helping me? Um, so apples, I got some crepes. You mean you're coming to eat? <laughs> you're coming to eat? <laughs> you're nodding your head at me. Yeah, I got two packets of these crepes. I got some cheese, um, two packets of cheese, because we're having spaghetti bolognese tomorrow. So it's Tuesday tomorrow, so we're having spaghetti bolognese on a Tuesday. So the kids love that on yeah. there. Yeah, that's rice. That's bespatty rice. I think you're after these, are uh, Yeah, are you after these? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I thought so. There you go. <laughs> oh, you don't want them? <laughs> um, where was it up to? Yes, yeah, spaghetti bolognese. The kids love this on their um, mincemeat. Um, and then the other ones to last us through the week, we have cheese and toast or cheese and ham butters or whatever, guys. Oh, no, put that down, sweetheart, in case you um, smash that, baby. Hey, okay. we don't want to get glass all over the floor and we'll cut your feet, won't we? Yeah? Are you going to go and watch Kids Danger? No. No? Um, I've got some minion ham for the kids, they absolutely love it because they love the faces. Look guys. <laughs> and then we got some British smoked ham. So I've got three packets of those but we've already used one because we've just had a sandwich for lunch. I got some split pots. We love split pots. Just the same as Muller. I don't think they taste any different to be honest with you. They really don't taste any different. I think they taste the exact same as Muller yogurts. Um, they really, really, really do. And then we got these. The kids love these. So these little five chocolate chip cake bars. They're really nice, and they're only forty seven p in Alda. Forty seven p. So I buy a few boxes because the kids love them. And then these mini rolls. Um, so these are like just the exactly the same ones that you get in Tesco. Like the ones in Tesco, I think they're two pound. Oh, oh no, darling. No, no, no. One minute, guys. Guys, um, Cody dropped the um, bolognese sauce. Oh, luckily it didn't smash. So he's settled now. I sat with him for five minutes in the living room, and he's watch. He's back into his teller. He's a little rebel, I tell you. They say terrible twos. He's still in it at three. Well, just turned three, so about three weeks ago. Um, so seriously, oh, seriously, guys. Um, so yeah, I've got some. I can't remember where I was up to, guys, so sorry. Yeah, these are about £2 something. They've gone out up in Alda. I mean, I, I mean Tesco. I think they've gone up to £2.59 or £2.89. I can't remember. But you get them in Alda for 85p still. And they don't taste any different. And then we've got some custards. Uh, some custard creams and... Shortbreads, biscuits, seriously guys, I'm out of breath. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just so out of breath at the minute. I've got some mushrooms, I already cut ones. Um, because it's a lifesaver. Especially after school and you just want to get on with it. Um, it's just easier <laughs> when they're already cut for you. I know that's a bit lazy of me guys, but hey, whatever's quick is brilliant <laughs> especially for me and um, so i've got some vegetable chicken soup for hubs and i couldn't get this last week in Aldi, and i was really really devastated maybe remember me telling you guys i think it was a week before about the midwife saying she loves this on toast i've still not had a chance to put it on toast because i just feel sick all the time oh i'm proper out of breath one minute guys seriously I'm not I'm out of breath, not breathless, like with my asthma, so I'm more out of breath, like baby's getting so big, seriously. And <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got the spicy cheese and I still not tried it on toast, but I've just had it on a sandwich and it was divine. Divine. So I got a big massive beautifully butterly butter. Um because this does last a week. It does last a week, especially when the kids have toast and things. And then I got some um, two trays of bacon. So I got smoked because we love smoked. 
and then I got mincemeat, some chicken for the curry tonight, and mincemeat for the um, spaghetti bolognese tomorrow. And then I got orange juice and black currant, and I got a big box of Diet Coke for 24 cans for I think there was 6 99 in Aldi today. So, absolute bargain. And then I got some cocktail sausages. Um, bolognese sauce that I thought Cody does smash but he didn't thank god and then I got some chicken tikka for tonight sausage rolls let's just see let me just go over on that side guys let's just see if I can there we go here we go so I'm just get paranoid because this camera it just goes all out of focus all the time so if I keep it like a certain angle it won't it won't so some sausage rolls, garlic bread. I really like this garlic bread, especially Shannon. It's so nice. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Most spaghetti rice. I got some pancakes, some tomatoes, and carnation, cold saw, cold slaw, cold saw. This one's got a cold saw in my mouth, guys. Cold slaw. That's Hubs' favourite. No one in the house, he's said, but Hubba. And then I got spaghetti, some more split pots, Muller rice, more poppadoms for tonight's curry, curry night. Um, eggs, got some eggs here. I'm just get 15 eggs. And then, what else have I said? Everything, guys. I don't even know if I've said everything. Um, oh, yeah, I got yogurt. I'm absolutely craving yogurt at the minute. I love, especially the cherry one. So nice. Um, pancakes. Hello, come in. Oh, it's my boys again. <laughs> Are you getting impatient without my mare? Um, so yeah, all cocktail sausages, here you can see them here guys, and yeah, that is everything, I think I showed you the ham, and grapes, and that is everything, and my little men are here now, what do you want, you want mummy to come with you, you want to go in the garden, mm -hmm. I thought so, alright, oh, some tomato basil as well, and some chocolate, Milkshake. Do you want to drink of chocolate milkshake, boys? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I've never tried this before, so I'm looking forward to you eating it. <laughs> looking forward to eating it, but... Cody! No, we lay it there like that. Don't throw. Are you going to go in the naughty corner if you do that? That's naughty. Um, so, yeah, that's everything that's on the hall today, guys. Everything. Put Cody in the corner. He's playing up a lot lately. Keep saying to me, guys, every time I tell them off, I put them in the timeout. Me not love you anymore. Me not love baby no more. But like when he's calmed down, he's done his time. He'll go, me love baby. Me love you so much, mum. Um, so, <laughs> I think he's starting to get the gist that there's a baby coming and things like that. Because, Dad, I'm having, like, little movements now of baby. And every time Dad comes to, like stroke my tummy or touch the baby Cody goes no my baby my baby so yeah I'm going for a little bit with him at the minute but to be expected to be expected anyway I was expected anyway um because obviously he's been the baby for three years and he's been their youngest and it's a big adjustment to him in it guys it really is a big adjustment um, so that's why, like, I'll go, if I feel a baby kick or anything like that, I go, Cody, come on, baby's kicking. You know, just involve him as much as I can, um, especially when baby's here as well, just involve him. Uh, like, when I've got an appointment, I'll film, like, the, like I did last week, film the baby's heartbeat. I asked the midwife, um, could I film baby's heartbeat? She said, yeah. Filmed it, because obviously you can't go in. Um, filmed it and showed Cody straight away. Um, and then scan pictures, show Cody the baby, explain where baby's head is, where baby's body is. And that seems to work a little bit. He's really, he, is, he is getting there. Um, but it's a big adjustment and he'll get there. He'll get there. I think he'll be more like when baby's born. 
um, of Higgles. Um, like Jonjo, Jonjo's adjusted to it really, really, really well. But obviously because he's had Coda, he's used to it. So we got he went to me before Coda and John Joe. He went, Mum, can I change baby's bum when baby comes? I say, Yeah, you can help mummy change baby's bum and you can help mummy bath baby's bum. He went, Can I take baby for a walk in the garden? <laughs> they have to open the understand that ba the baby is not gonna be able to walk because he thinks the baby can walk. <laughs> so baby can't walk, John Joe. He goes, Why? I said, babies can't walk. <laughs> um it takes time, doesn't it, Shannon? John Joe thinks the baby's going to be able to walk when it comes out. <laughs> it's just so cute. But yeah, we're going through it a little bit with Coda, and we expected it. We expected it. We expected it when baby come. But we'll, we can work out. We'll work it out. Won't we, son? Is that Coda? We'll work it, won't we, son? Uh, you ready to go in the garden? His ears played up a little bit, but... To be expected, like he's like he threw the poppadoms before. He's like um, having a lot more tantrums and being on the naughty corner more and things like that. But I can do it. We'll work it. I've I've been through this plenty of times before, plenty of times before. But like um, Cody and Johnny were more closer in age, not like this long. So I can do it. I can do it. But anyway, I need to end this vlog now. I need to end this haul. But you need to come back on Thursday at half six. So half vlogs come on about half six. Um, so you definitely, definitely need to come back on Thursday. Do not miss it, guys, because seriously, we are so looking forward to this. We have been waiting weeks and weeks and weeks for this. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I, I, what, what I can't miss, I can't even get my words out. Um, I'm gonna keep it under wraps because it is a huge surprise for the children. I may have been asking for this since I don't know how long, I don't know how long, but it's finally happening. So you need to come back on Thursday at about half six and you need to see what we've got. So anyway guys, you need to come back. You need to come back. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let it out. I'm not I'm not if I carry on talking I probably will But if you like this video give it a big thumbs up for me Keep watching keep subscribing and I will definitely see you guys on Thursday at about half six. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out